Like other genetic tests, direct-to-consumer, abbreviated DTC genetic testing, looks for variation in a person's genome, which consists of deoxyribonucleic acid, or DNA, and is organized into genes. The basic building blocks of DNA are called nucleotides, which consist of a sugar phosphate backbone plus one of four bases, adenine, thymine, guanine, or cytosine. Slight differences in DNA sequences account for some of the variation seen in human traits and susceptibility to certain diseases. Changes in the DNA sequence are caused by mutation and are called genetic variants. Variants can be as small as a single nucleotide, referred to as a SNP, or single nucleotide polymorphism. Variants are named using a combination of letters, numbers, and symbols, but can also have descriptive names. There are numerous molecular techniques used to detect the presence of variants. One is genotyping, which uses DNA microarrays to look for variants of interest. Another is DNA sequencing, which determines the exact sequence of a continuous section of DNA. In human disease, both environmental and genetic factors are important, and there are two general ways genetics can play a role. For some diseases, single variants in single genes can have a very large impact, meaning they can actually cause a disease all on their own. These are called monogenic diseases and are usually quite rare. Monogenic diseases run in families in predictable patterns and tend to have multiple affected members and earlier age of disease. These inheritance patterns include autosomal dominant and recessive, X-linked, and mitochondrial. Monogenic conditions are important to recognize since medical management guidelines can greatly reduce morbidity and mortality. On the other hand, the causes of most common health conditions are more complex and influenced not only by lifestyle and the environment, but by many different genes with many common variants. The term polygenic is used to describe the genetic component of these conditions. In complex conditions, each individual genetic variant has a very small effect, but when taken together, they can have a cumulative, measurable impact on risk. Let's take a closer look at monogenic and polygenic causes using high cholesterol levels as an example. One cause of high levels of low-density lipoprotein, or LDL, and subsequent heart disease is called familial hypercholesterolemia. It's a monogenic condition because it's caused by single variants in one of several genes and is usually inherited in families in an autosomal dominant pattern. Someone only needs one causal variant in one of these genes to have familial hypercholesterolemia and be at increased risk for high LDL cholesterol and heart disease. This same variant in the same gene gets passed down through the same family. But different families can have familial hypercholesterolemia that is caused by different variants in different genes. Among family members, the same variant can cause different levels of severity. This is called variable expressivity. And in some instances, the variant may not cause high cholesterol at all. This is called non-penetrance and may be due to the influence of other genetic factors or even differences in lifestyle or the environment. So for monogenic diseases, variants in a single gene are enough to cause disease, the same variant gets passed down through a family but can be expressed differently in different members, and the same disease can be caused by different variants in different genes in different families. For most people with high cholesterol, however, genetic, lifestyle, and environmental factors likely play an equally significant role. Complex conditions like high cholesterol cluster in families but don't follow a specific inheritance pattern. The genetic component, again, is called polygenic, referring to the additive effect of hundreds to thousands of variants in many different genes. Population-based studies called Genome-Wide Association Studies, or GWAS, can help determine the relative contributions of variants by identifying variants that are more common in the genomes of affected individuals compared to unaffected. Genetic testing for polygenic variants provides a polygenic score or relative risk of developing the condition. This information can be used to encourage healthy lifestyle choices and in some cases earlier screening or closer monitoring. DTC genetic tests can include results pertaining to both monogenic and polygenic conditions. 
Understanding the clinical relevance of each type of result is key because they are not equal in their implications for disease risk. It's also important to consider family health information in the context of DTC genetic testing. Although DTC tests can include important monogenic disease variants, clinical testing through a healthcare provider tends to be more comprehensive and therefore more informative for families suspected of having a monogenic disease.